my name is Lori Carey. I am the CEO of Nebula Academy. Welcome to our Nebula 404 podcast series. Uh, we're today, today we're here with Bonnie Cannon, who is the Executive Director of Bridgehampton Child Care, Child Care Recreational Center out east in Long Island. Uh, so we're super excited to have Bonnie with us today. Um, so Bonnie, you know, share a little bit about, you know, you introduce yourself, you know, who you are, what, what does your organization do? Okay, well, as you had said, I'm Bonnie Cannon, and I am the Executive Director for the Bridgehampton Child Care and Recreational Center, known to many as the Center. We are a 501c3. We have been in existence uh, since the 1950s. Oh, wow. And uh, basically, yeah, we, I don't know if you knew I that. did not know that. Right. We've been yeah. in existence since the 1950s um, as a safe place for children. Um, it was born out of tragedy. Uh, we have six acres in Bridgehampton, and it was born out of tragedy. Uh, the land was donated because uh, migrant workers went to work one day and the children stayed home in a small house and the lantern overturned and oh, uh, wow. basically they were consumed in the fire. The community came together, donated the land as a forever safe place and the center was incorporated in 1954 um, with a mission that we are a historically black community-based organization who serve all Eastern marginalized children and families. And we've been doing that for the past 15 years. Wow, what a great years. story. Yeah, yeah, I know you didn't. Yeah, I know, yeah, so I love that. that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm kind of hearing the real, you know, because it's funny, you know, you partner with an organization, but you, yeah. you know, we don't really, you know, I wish I had more time to dig in. Um, and I've, I've do, been doing a lot of that lately. Uh, uh, you know, I have another organization that I'm, that I'm working with, AAUW out of California. And I didn't know that some of the work that they did, and they've been like 1800s they started. Yeah. So hearing your story is great. Yeah, I've been there for about 15 years. Okay. Um, what brought you to them? What brought you to them? Well, I'm originally, I'm a local. I was born and raised um, out in the Hamptons in Southampton. Um, I went off to college. I have a computer uh, systems degree, MIS degree from Howard University. I was a programmer and an engineer for a uh, Fortune 100 company for about 17 years took a package, um, came back home, and basically uh, started my own business. Somebody tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey, you want to be on the board? You'd be great for this, yeah, right? Yeah, you want to be on the yeah, board yeah. at the center? So I was on the board first, and the next thing I know, they're, they're tapping me on the shoulder and say, would you like to be an executive director here? And I was like, I'm not, I'm not in education. I don't really, okay, right, you know, right. not into that. Yeah. I said, I'm into, you know, business. This is what I've been doing. I was a regional manager for many years. And um, I said, I'll give it a try. And uh, 15 years later, wow. I've been still here. And I got to say, it's the most impactful job that I've ever done. Probably the most um, rewarding It's that most you've rewarding got. because at the center, uh, we change lives. You that's do. What, that's what we do. And we're having a great time doing it with you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so a little bit, you know, for the audience, you know, uh, we reached out to uh, Bonnie's organization um, as part of our software engineering boot camp to get recruit candidates from out east. Um, and to change lives out there. And so, and our most recent graduate that came from Bonnie, oh Abe, uh, Abraham Johnson, who oh, we interviewed so uh, recently so too, so you'll get to watch his interview. Um, he's going to work for LinkedIn. I know. And so we couldn't be more <laughs> excited about, about that impact and about how, you know, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have met Abe. Uh, and Abe has just been such an instrumental part of our team, um, and we're just you know excited to have see where he's going, but sad to to lose him as an instructor as well. But hopefully he's going to keep doing some teaching for us part time, so we're gonna we're not going to lose him yet. <laughs> yeah, the interesting thing about Abe is that Abe and his families um, they actually were alumni that came up from the center. Oh, nice. And so you know it's a it's a full round giving circle. back, yeah. right? Giving back type yeah. that type of thing. So yeah. it's 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 great. It's yeah. great that we were able to to do this together yeah. and to partner together. Yeah. And so we've had some great success together. And we have a great project coming up that we're doing is called Upskill New York, and it, we're doing it in collaboration with your program, which is called um, Teach Me How to Fish. Teach Me How to Fish. Mm -hmm. And so the, between the two projects, we're creating some really amazing opportunities for those young adults ages 18 to 20 where they can uh, get um, training for four weeks and then go into a four-week workforce experience where they're t learning to do entry-level like IT tech administrative roles. Um, so really cool opportunities and exciting um, next steps. So you know, tell me a little bit about um, the impact that you've seen from our work together uh, from the students. From the students, well, well, right now, anybody that knows, well, I guess because I come from the industry, that I know that IT is where the future is yeah. going. And, I, and what I was finding is that there was a gap 
between those that traditionally go to college and get their degrees and even those that go off to college, many of them for whatever reason come back, financial reasons or whatever, they come back home or those that didn't go to college at all. And then they're at home and they're in a rut and they're basically, you know, working a minimum wage job around, you know, around the clock. Which isn't sustainable on Long Island. Which is not sustainable on Long yeah, Island yeah. and especially not out in uh, in the Hamptons. Right. And so I'm looking at, so when we created the Teach Me How to Fish Workforce Training Initiative, basically what I was looking at is what kind of industry tracks do I need to put these, to, to put these kids in where they can actually make a decent living and yeah. take care of themselves. I mean, yeah. the things that we want them to be able to do, you have to have food, shelter, water, clothes, and roof over your head. So yeah. what would do that? And I said, let's look at the IT industry because the IT industry is basically where the future is. Yeah. So the impact, the, the impact that it has been is that number one is teaching them another skill. And that's not all that you guys do because you also work on the life skill trainings and things of that sort that will go with them for life. And yeah. so the impact has been incredible. You know, just the individuals, ones that thought that they couldn't do it, just being introduced introduced to the IT industry and to the IT world and just getting into they are talking, they're coding now. Yeah, yeah. You know, folks that never knew anything about coding, yeah. now they're doing it. They understand now when they look at a website and they see um, what's going on that it took a little bit of time to get that website up and to get those colors to change and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So for them to understand that and then what they're seeing is that they like it. Yeah. So the impact has been, it's been great. It's given another look. You another don't, awareness. You don't, yeah, you don't know what yeah. you don't know. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so it's giving them another awareness yeah. and another, you know, light that they can see out the, the tunnel that there's another way that yeah. I may be able to make it out of this. And there's so many out there, and I was one of those, those, you know, 18 being kind of feeling lost and not knowing what I wanted to do. And, um, you know, I always tell people I got into the IT world by accident because I, you know, got mm. a, w went to apply for a job and um, with, with a friend because they were applying. I already had a job <laughs> and I wasn't really interested. I was just going along for the ride and mm. I applied to and I got the job they didn't. And so, you know, it was, and it introduced me to, to the, the whole, this whole world of tech. And it was just, for me, it was just a, a whole, just domino that, that that's, you know, drove my career. It's, it's not, it's, that's the thing. And when you go into tech, there is so much that you can do outside of just it's endless coding, yeah. you know, there, you know, there's the sales, there's support. Yeah. I mean, there is so much that a person can do. Basically you can do it pretty much anything and everything that you want to do yeah. on the creative side or yeah. if you're more analytical on the analytical side. I mean, there is a vast array of, um, you know, outcomes and, and there's no ceiling, which is what I love. And that's the thing. Yeah. And, and you can kind of control yeah. basically where you want to go and yeah. how you want to do things. Yeah. So it's, it's, you know, it's all about exposure, right? And exactly. I think that for those who are out east and they, they, they just, they're not connected, they don't have awareness of these things, bringing that awareness to them is so important. So thank you for the partnership. It's been amazing. Oh, it's um, been great. So, you know, tell me a little bit about, um, you know, some of the candidates that you, um, you know, it, like the ideal candidate or somebody that's listening, you know, who might want to kind of explore this. Basically, I, I tell people, and, and this is part of our Teach Me How to Fish Workforce uh, Strategy Initiative, is that I think that you should have some type of a, you should be doing something. You shouldn't just be sitting idle. You should be doing something. And what better way to learn something new? If you're sitting there and you're not doing nothing and you're just idle, then why not give it a try? Yeah. You know, if you are a, a person that's creative, uh, of somebody that's um, analytical, somebody that's uh, basically, uh, you could do, you, it, it, it pretty much is open to somebody that, somebody that's down on their luck saying, listen, I'm tired of working in this job nine to five. Um, or I'm not working at all, I can barely take care of my family, I need a, some type of a solution, how can I get out of this rut? You know, this is something for you. I, I think yeah. it's something for, when you ask that question, I'm having difficulty answering it because I don't know who it's not for. Yeah. That, that, that's the, that, that, you know, that's, that's yeah. what I'm getting. No, I don't know who it's not for. Point. Yeah, and you what know? I find is that, you know, not everybody wants to be a software developer. And first of all, they don't understand what that is. Right. 
And so, um, and what I love about it is that, you know, when you're learning to code, and that, you know, we have other programs too, but, you know, we're, we're talking specifically about the software engineering program. And, and what I love about, you know, even the introduction of that, and if they don't want to go into the software development, there's always tech support, there's always tech sales. Tech sales. And I know if there's somebody out there who's, you know, maybe struggling or they got lost their job because of COVID, um, there's, there's opportunities out there. You just have to kind of step in and feel a little uncomfortable for a bit. Um, because you will, that's just, you know, be transparent. You're going to be uncomfortable, um, but we're going to support you. So it's all about getting And that's the great thing yeah. is that you guys give the support. Yeah. You just don't, you know, it's not like somebody sitting in front of a computer taking an online course. Yeah, and it's very you different. Know, yeah. You have a live body yep. that's there, yep. that's with you, that supports you. And coaches and, to and help you too. coaches you, yep. you know, yep. you have networking. Yep that introduce them to people that may look like them that have gone into the field so yeah. that they can see that, okay, this is not a dream. This it's is possible. A, this possible because yep. other people have done it, yep. you know, and you know, you give them, a, you give them um, the support and the coaching and the teaching that they need. Yeah. You yeah. know what, I mean, what more can you, what, what more can you ask for? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then you can pivot. Yep. If you don't want to be a, a software um, a developer, then you can pivot into other areas. Yeah, which, so which we have seen that. We've had you know resources who are now getting jobs as a result of the, the program into tech sales and in the sales industry. Um, because you know, reality is if you if you understand coding and those concepts and you can you can interact and have dialogue with developers, you know, you can use that that transferable skill in other aspects of the IT world. Funny thing, I just mentioned this story that basically I don't know if you know that when I started with um, the company that I work for. I started out as a programmer. Right. From there, I became a engineer, yep. and I was designing and developing, um, you know, developing the systems for the different the government entities. That yep. was my account. From there, I went into sales, yeah. and then from there, I went on to be a regional sales manager. The most money that you know I made not that is about money all the time, but it was in sales. Yeah, yeah, it was in sales. <laughs> yeah. You know, but what what was happening is that I was supporting. A, an account manager because I basically was doing all the designs to yeah. her and 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 you were technical and, and that's I was huge. technical and I was doing the designs yep. for her I would do the designs I would come in I would present the design yeah. you know she would do her part and then I would go back and I, I'd have a fixed salary but she would be getting commission one day a light bulb went off and I said how can I learn how to do this I want that commission yeah, too. yeah, yeah <laughs> well, something's wrong here can I learn how to do that yeah and basically what they did is they asked all the account managers, asked all the account managers, what accounts don't you want in your module? And they made a module for me. Yeah. And that's how I that's how I entered into sales. Very cool. And um, from sales, I mean, if, if you are a person that likes to interact with people, that is personable, yep. that could talk, Sales is the way to go. Yeah, so which, which leads us <laughs> leads us to our new program coming out this fall, which is a tech sales boot camp. Yeah. Uh, and and it's really designed for those who don't want to really be the hardcore software developer, right. but they want to understand the technology so that they can go into an entry level tech sales position where they can really take their career to amazing places. Uh, and reality is, what I in my experience, because you know I've been in tech for 40 years, and what I've found is, and I was in tech sales at Microsoft, so. I was a technical salesperson, right? So, and, and what, you know, any company that you work for out there, they want to hire people who are technical Technical. in the tech sales fields, right? Because now they know that you understand what you're selling. You can be better support. You you know, you're going to dig in more and understand the use cases for the customer, the value to the customer. You can speak to it better. So that's what we're teaching. So we're teaching people how to understand technology at a foundational skill set really, really well, so that then they can now learn the tech sales piece for it. So learning Salesforce and how to use CRM systems, learning about the sales cycle and how, what's it feel like to be in a sales opportunity with specking something out, negotiating mm-hmm. with a customer, mm-hmm. all of those skills and communication skills that you can learn to get a job. Uh, and, and mock um, scale sales opportunities. So it's gonna be fun. We're really looking forward to this launch. There is so much that you can basically do for you know, do I was at, the job that I worked was at Verizon. Yeah. So I was at Verizon for about seventeen years. Yeah. And so that you know, and I just from from being a programmer, on up to being a, a regional sales manager and then being a marketing manager as well. Yeah. There, I mean, there's so much that right. you can do with it. And actually, what people don't realize is that in the future, tech is taking place of real bodies anyway. Yeah. 
because in our grocery stores, you know, right now, the it, the, the, the cashiers, you know, th that's going away. Yeah. You know, a lot of things are going away. So, so we've got to reskill, retool re people. Yep. And reskill and re retool, retool yep. to, so that you're, um, you know, ready. And unfortunately, the minorities in that industry are uh, black black and brown people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the minority, yeah. you know, of the percentage of individuals. And so from my standpoint, I'm trying to pretty much promote you know, so that we can get more black and brown people into this. Make it a more diverse environment. And make it yeah. a more diverse, you know, a yeah. more diverse. And we know thing. a more diverse team is more successful together, too. Exactly. Um, because they come from different mindset and different backgrounds, so exactly. it's really important. And companies obviously know that. That's why they're, they're moving in those directions. Exactly. Uh, so it is. And and so, you know, when we think about our classrooms, we, we're really about b making sure we have diverse classrooms as well um, because the learning experience is better. Mm -hmm. Everybody learns from each other. Uh, but, you know, you know, when you think about the opportunities and the potential that people have out there today, it's growing and, get, and COVID's really brought that to light, right? COVID has brought it to light because of the fact that now people see that you really don't need the four walls. Yeah. That basically people can Which be- Which I love. Yeah, people can be productive yep. and they can still work, okay, my headquarters may be in uh, Los Angeles, my, or, or, uh, uh, or Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. My headquarters may be in Manhattan, but I can work right here from my remote location yeah. yep. and go into my headquarters, you know, maybe, you know, four or five times during the year or whatever. Yeah. Or you can work and collaborate and be there. There's so much that you can do yeah. that it doesn't hone you that you can't just because if you can't get to the location, they, they, you can collaborate and have your groups together and yep. check and work together. Team, I mean, there's so much productivity and things that you can do. And just going back to what you were talking about, as far as the individuals that we have put through, um, all every last one of them are amazed and they all say, I don't, I can't believe it, but I like this. I like what I'm doing. I, you know, I didn't think that I could do it. Yeah. They always now say, I don't think they could do it. And yeah. they say that for and the first the two first months too. Months. <laughs> and then when they get out, they, you know, and basically now they're, they're like, I like, you know, Cody, you know, one of one of the students that wanted to be a, what are the, a, the es esthetician or, or whatever like yes, that. Yes, she was, yeah. yeah. And yeah. She, she, she's like, I really like this. I like the coding. I like doing this, yeah. you know, and one that wanted to basically just uh, do sales. Well, I didn't know that I could put IT yeah. with sales, yeah. you know, so all of them are seeing that this is a, you know, this is a possibility for me. This is this is something that's real yeah. and something that could really pay off and basically, you know, help me to get to whatever goals that I have for my life and for my family. Yeah. And create sustainable careers in Long Island. Create sustainable careers in Long Island. Yeah. And, yeah. It, and we have the demand here on Long Island. We do, we do. That's the thing. Yeah. We have the demand yeah. here on Long Island and a lot of the employers are saying they can't find qualified workers. Yeah, so, so employers doing, out there, please call us. We, yeah. need, we need you to know what we're doing. Exactly, because, yeah. because we are creating the workforce for we you. Are. We're building capacity for you. Exactly. Yep. You know, and so not only should they be aware of this program, but they should be also be supporting the program yep. as well so that we can get more individuals yep. because it's a win-win for everybody. Yeah. It's a it's a it, it's a win-win. Absolutely. For for everyone. Yeah, and so if you're an employer out there and you're listening, um, you can go to weconnectthedots.org and learn more about how you can support it and what's the what's the URL for your your uh, organization? bhccrc.org and that's for the Bridgehampton Child Care and Recreational Center dot org. Fantastic. So, um, and, and it's really important. We're trying to bring awareness to employers of the opportunity, especially for our upcoming Upskills New York program. Yes. We, you know, with the four-week workforce experience, we need partners, um, business partners to sign up yes. uh, and be a part of that, that opportunity. Now, you're going to have a free employee for four weeks. For four now, weeks. Yeah, and so they're, they're going to get a great learning experience through partnering and working for you, and you're going to get a resource that you might want to hire after the four exactly. weeks. Exactly, and that's, and that's, and that's the, the thing, yeah. because many of these employers, even the small ones, they have some type of an IT yeah. department. They're they doing have, it. They have they to. Have to. <laughs> I mean, you, can't, I don't, you cannot be in a successful business these days without, without having right. something dealing yeah. with. Uh, Whether it's in the cloud or on-premise. Or, or in-premise. Yeah, yeah. Or if you outsource it's in the, co whoever the company you yeah. outsource. Yeah. But I'm saying that, you know, you have to have some, you have yeah. to have that yeah. in your organization. 
And so, you know, like even the government entities, yep. you know, the municipalities, I mean, it's just, I don't know where IT doesn't touch. It touches everything. Yeah. And it that's, touches everything. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for us to build these skills. Uh, and so if you're an employer out there and you have, you know, you're using either Microsoft Office 365 or some other platform, um, and you want some support and helping uh, to administer that, those are the skills that they're going to be learning in this program. Exactly. And they can come in and support you. So um, please visit our website to check that out. So Bonnie, uh, it was great to have you on the show. And, I'm, I, and we are just so excited to continue the partnership and continue working with you. But before we wrap, anything you want to share with the audience uh, about your organization or how, we can, how they connect with you? Um, I got to tell you, the center is booming. We're booming. Right now, we're in the process of building a great building, a brand new building there that's going to have a recording studio. It's going to have a computer lab. Oh, I lab. love this. I love it's this. It's going to have a steam room um, for oh, that's so our science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Um, it's going to have three levels there where we have community space for tutoring, for discussions, for oh, the kids, libraries. Amazing. Um, it's it's great it's a great building that we're, we're that we're building that's going to be we're going to be moving in it um, uh, before the end of this year. That's fantastic. So um, and it's all going to be we have six acres there with four buildings. Everything is going to be Wi-Fi. It's going to be a campus where the community can where the kids can walk around anywhere. We're going to have the Chromebooks, the stations there. Everything is going to be state of the art. So we're really doing things and providing, you know, the needed services so that we can adequately serve our community and our children. Um, for those of you that don't know, our, our name says that we're the Bridgehampton Child Care and Recreation Center, but we are so much more than that. We are a full service community center. Um, we actually have a food pantry there, emergency assistance, SAT prep, college prep, one-on-one um, -on -one tutoring, after school programming team programming, you name it, we have it. We have a Thinking For It lecture series where we actually have partnered with uh, some of the Guild Parish Art Museums where we brought out Misty Copeland, we brought out Cheryl and I feel oh, um, to great. do discussions and things of that sort. We basically do it all. So this piece was the niche that I was missing and I needed that for the we um, teach me how to fish workforce uh, strategy initiative because that was the piece I was missing for those individuals that were just ages 18 I think to 45 that were they seem to just be lost I needed to have something to offer to them basically that would uh, would economically sustain them yeah. and, and we really them are excited to, do that, to partner with you on it and we that's really what I'm are. saying you guys it, it yeah. just came in so we have different industry tracks there um, the uh, the um, IT track is the industry track. We also have the um, real estate industry track as well because I don't know if you know about the diversity of the real estate um, the real estate industry, but I think you can count the number of yes, black and brown can. people that are in that market. <laughs> so we're trying to infiltrate and, that. And out east you need that. Yes. Yeah. Trades and entrepreneurship. Those are industry tracks. So if anybody is interested, I mean, we're, we're hooked. I, I tell you this, we're hooked at the hips. Anybody interested and you can't get in contact, with uh, We Connect the Docs, give us a call because yeah. we're all together. We are. And we're all together yeah. in this. Um, takes, it one. takes a village and we're, and we're, we're doing it. And we're doing it. And, yeah. we're, and yeah. we're doing it. I'm excited. All right. So we're, we're doing good stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we look forward to doing more. Yes. yes all right. So yes. awesome. Again, uh, if you want to, um, you know, thanks for listening. If you want to hear anything, you know, uh, learn more about Bridgehampton Child Care Recreational Center, please visit their website. Uh, we Connect the Dots. Uh, you know, if you want to learn more about us at nebulacademy.com. Uh, and please, please make a donation to support us to do more scholarships and more programs and impact more uh, other resources here on Long Island. So thanks yes. for joining.